We have a lot going on this weekend, as Mike attempted to explain right there. I hear there's a Noah show and GCW, and we've got the best of the Super Juniors, the World Tag League. But listen, here are the shows I care about because I'm going. New Japan Strong. New Japan that Battle in the Valley is coming up tomorrow. And uh, did I tell you guys the other day about how Daylight Savings Time had screwed everything up? Yeah. And I just didn't know what day it was. So I go up to Twitter today, and Rocky Romero, is uh, he's plugging the show tomorrow. And I'm like, tomorrow? The show's on Saturday, not Friday. And for like 15 minutes, I was trying to find out if there were two Battle in the Valley shows. And finally, I figured out the real problem was that today is not Thursday. It's Friday. <laughs> So, in fact, Jesus. the show is tomorrow. Tomorrow's already Saturday, and uh, it's Battle in the Valley. we got a whole bunch of big matches. We have the DKC and Kevin Knight versus Bullet Club. That's Chris Bay and Hikaleo. Yuya Uimura versus Josh Alexander, which should be awesome. Brody King and Chris Dickinson versus Bateman and Mysterioso. Fred Rosser, David Finley, Rocky Romero, Alex Coglin, Alex Zane, Team Filthy, their opponents are Team Filthy, Tom Lawler, J.R. Kratos, Danny Limelight, Jarrell Nelson, and as we like to call him, Hoist Isaacs. Clark Connors and Carl Fredericks versus Jeff Cobb and TJP. Ren Narita versus Will Ospreay. Juice Robinson versus Moose. Okada versus Buddy Matthews. He got the match he wanted. And uh, first night in, he gets Okada. Filthy Tom's never stepped in the ring with this guy. Just want to mention that. And uh, Jay, <laughs> if he'd been teaming with me, this has happened a long time ago. And Jay White versus Tomohiro Ishii for the never open weight title. The stipulation is if Ishii does not win the never open weight title, he can never challenge for the belt again. Now, it's not he can never challenge Jay White for the title again, it says here he can never challenge again. So. I think that in person, live tomorrow at New Japan Battle in the Valley at the San Jose Civic Center at 8 o'clock p.m., closer to probably 10.30 p.m., I am going to see Ishii win the never open weight title from Jay White, and I am so excited about that. You, Mike, and everyone else listening to this can watch this show on fight.tv, njpwworld.com. Or go to the building and watch it live with me and everybody else, including Dom, who's not here today. He's prepping for the show tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. Look how excited you are. You're yeah, you know why I'm excited? Giddy. You're happy. You know why else? Because I why found else? out it's 76 and sunny there tomorrow. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, that... I'm not in the middle of a bomb cyclone for once in my lifetime. Kind of helps your mood, too. Yeah, but you gotta you got to hang out with Dave, and you're going to have a late night that way. And also, uh, I'm hoping that you get choked out by Shibata at some point during the weekend. That would be very nice, teach you some sort of lesson. And you know, maybe she doesn't even make it there because on the West, Pro, uh, the West Coast Pro Show tonight, which will be on IWTV at about 10 o'clock, uh, Vinny Massaro... Uh, our friend is going to face Tomohiro Shii, and there's also Black Taurus and AJ Gray, which is going to be a fight of uh, some serious renown. What also will be is Jeff Cobb against Chris Dickinson, and the quest of Chris Dickinson to land in New Japan on Japanese soil one day for a long tour is just the steps we're watching him take to get there or is something else. And then on this show, we got Yuya Uramura against uh, Levi Shapiro. Hero and Ray Oris against Carl Frederick. So those young guys from New Japan are <laughs> their future as far as Gaijin talent is something else. It is incredible what they have in their pipeline right now. And this was a promotion that when I started covering New Japan, which was 20 years ago, and it is like lifetimes ago now, they had shut the doors. That's why it was such a big deal that Prince Devitt got over and got to where he got. And right now they just have a cavalcade of young guys, as well as natives as well, too, that are all all around the world right now, including Shooter and Uemura and guys like that. Yeah, producer Rob is angry to invite him to battle in the Valley in San Jose at the Civic Center tomorrow, but this guy can't even drive 10 minutes to jiu-jitsu class, so you think he's going to make it on an airplane down to California? Get out of here. Rampage tonight, a Jungle Boy versus Bobby Fish, Orange Cassidy versus Matt Hardy in a Lumberjack match. And Jade Cargill will face Santana Garrett. New match added to the show here tonight. So that's the lineup for Rampage. And they uh, they did a WWE deal the other day. 
they announced that uh, despite being suspended in storyline, Brock Lesnar will be in the building when SmackDown comes to Los Angeles next month. The Staples what? Center announced today that Lesnar, quote, vows to buy a ringside seat in Los Angeles. That guy's too cheap to buy a ticket. Friday, December 10th. So the point of this is, I know what's happening on SmackDown on December 10th. I have no idea what's happening on the show tonight. I haven't seen anything. Does anybody know what's happening tonight? Are there any matches announced? I don't know. Should I go to the website? Why can't they just put up a picture of Brock Lesnar like they have with Scott Steiner Let's saying this person can't attend? Uh, they have a picture of Scott Steiner saying he can't attend? Don't you remember that from WrestleMania weekend uh, some years back? Uh, apparently, I guess they were threatened by some of the things that he had said. Oh, so no. they actually had a, uh, a little sign up that, you know. Was he going to run into him was, with his car like he did I, back in <laughs> World Championship Wrestling? Well, he did do that to a guy. You remember that when he was arrested for that? He ran into a construction worker. He said, get the hell out of the way. Construction worker's like, no, the road is closed. It's one way. You can't go. Yes, so he hit about. the dude. So it's yes. possible. Okay, so I'm on WWE.com's front page right now. And uh, we've got NXT results. we got videos of Jacket Time, Toxic Attraction. Jacket Time. Oh, WrestleMania 38 tickets are on sale. Should have mentioned that today. Oh, did you hear that? That's probably yes. a big story. We have got uh, Stephanie McMahon's going to be honored at the March of Dimes luncheon. Oh, that's We've nice. got a Sasha Bailey match from uh, 2020. Oh. We've got a King Booker Batista match from 2006. <laughs> we have rare tribute to the troops moments. We have champions collide for tributes to the troops this Sunday. Huh? Yeah, that's Sunday. Apparently, tribute to the troops is Sunday. I guess. Is that true? Make, well, it makes sense. Oh, it is. Look weekend, at that. So. Wow, they did a great job promoting that one. <laughs> tribute to the troops, everybody, is Sunday. <laughs> Sunday on Fox. Where did that come from? Well, is it going to be one of those? Look, this and this is a deal. If it's going to be Sunday on Fox, is it in prime time? Because if it's aired during the day, then it's going to depend on what market you're in when it comes to football, whether it comes on at one, at four, at two, whatever it's going to be. So I guess you'll have to check your local listings. Dude, uh, the, the chat doesn't even believe me. <laughs> like, I swear <laughs> to God, this is on WWE.com. Champions collide for tribute to the troops this Sunday. Some of the biggest superstars in WWE will square off in honor of the brave men and women of the United States Armed Forces as three matches were announced for the 19th annual Tribute to the Troops Sunday, November 14th on Fox. That is this yeah. Sunday. Thanks for your service. Here's Dana Brooke. Roman Reigns versus Shinsuke Nakamura, Big E versus Dolph Ziggler, and Bianca Belair versus Liv Morgan. Sunday. And I have no idea what's on SmackDown tonight. I can't find it anywhere on WWE.com. Back in a moment, Observer Live. The the rumor on the uh, Twitch chat is that it's Roman Reigns versus Xavier Woods tonight on SmackDown. And so, since there's no information whatsoever on WWE.com, I went to at WWE on Twitter, and I spent the entire break scrolling. And uh, finally, I did find, will Sir Kofi be able to join King Woods Corner for the showdown against Roman Reigns this Friday on SmackDown? That was tweeted on November 10th. <laughs> Today's the 12th. That is the most recent. So, I mean, they, haven't, they have said nothing about it in two full days. So I would say, I would officially say, it is up in the air whether we get that match tonight. Well, obviously, this picture of the New Day and Rhea Ripley and uh, Damian Priest standing there in, as different versions of The Rock has taken precedence over the show tonight. Also, Dagan notes that Tony Khan has announced Dante Martin versus Arya Daivari will be on Rampage tonight. So four matches scheduled for the live Rampage. It's going to be really good. Like, Daivari, uh, you know, I, I don't know. Again, it's been a long time since Daivari was in the focus of Impact and or WWE. I, I, you know, he's really good. And I, this is Dante Martin has stepped up in every single match he's been in. And I think this is going to be, I thought the Moriarty interplay was incredible. You know, him and, and Davari ought to be a real sleeper for a hell of a match of this weekend. We have one more. Oh, we do? Yeah. This is from uh, TL. There's nothing scary about you, chap. No matter how dangerous of a technician, 
You look more like a male statistician, cocking your chest out with that definition. No, I don't mean Zack Sabre, supporter of labor. He's one of the best. I'm talking about that man with no heart, Brian Alvarez, the real chicken chest. I'm disgusted. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.